Hello guys and welcome to the video in which we will do our first exercise. Okay, so in the last tutorial um, we looked at the problem, we built a pseudocode and now it's time to build and I hope you build it already and just watching this to see how I did it because the best way to learn is to code it yourself. Okay, and it's exciting too so uh, I hope you did it. So let's uh, start. So what I did here is I brought the pseudocode here um, that we built last time and I actually have a program here that will let me um, pick which software I want to keep on top when I'm typing so I can see that um, so it doesn't disappear when I click. So now I'll be able to see my pseudocode as I'm typing. Okay, so declare the variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to declare clear um, variables. Okay, so uh, what we're going to need is uh, we're going to take them as an input and so we're going to do the math on them so they're going to be double not the integers because we're going to need those uh, fractions and we're going to name them first input number okay and um, that's our first number then we're gonna do um, the second input number okay and then what else we're gonna do is um, we need to store the results when we do the math. So they're also going to be double and we're going <clears> to <throat> do sum, uh, we're going to do subtract and then we're going to do multiply and then we're going to do divide. divide. Okay so these are all that's uh, pretty much all we're going to need. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, um, ask and take um, ask and save and save input from user. Okay, so <clears throat> now this is gonna be so we have to do one at a time. So, but before that, we wanna obviously you know greet our um, user and say something nice. Console uh, dot right line and I like to just say hello um, welcome to the best calculator okay so we're gonna use that as our welcoming and then we're gonna also say uh, something that they need to enter. So we're gonna say please enter first number. Okay. Please enter first number. And then now what we wanna do we wanna store their number in our um, first input first input number and we're gonna equals and now remember we need to convert before we do that to double. Um, so we're going to do to double and then what we're going to convert is we're going to read the line. So we're going to do console. So we're going to read line now and this should store in our first input and then we're going to do our second input. Second input number, gonna do equals, and let me just copy that and put it in here. Now we got those two numbers saved, and um, well, before we do the second one, we need to ask them too, right? So before I forget that, so actually, let me just copy this and put it in here and say, please enter second number. second number so make sure I didn't make any mistakes yet ask user input store ask store now we are here and now we're gonna do is we're gonna do the 
math. Okay, so to do the math, what are we going to do? We, we already have those two numbers, so we have to uh, start to uh, do the math. So we're going to start with sum, let's do that, and then we're going to say sum equals, and we're going to do first number, and then we're going to add second second number. Now that should go into sum. Now we're going to subtract and we're gonna say first number minus second number allow data lessons because it helps so much and then as we type in here and we're using the sum and subtract and see how it, these are not underlined anymore because we're using them and these are just telling us that they, hey, these haven't been used yet so that could be helpful a uh, little bonus now we're gonna do multiply equal and then we're going to do first number and we're going to multiply by second number and then we're going to do divide equals first number uh, divide by second number now we do we did all our math now what we do need is we need to display display result Okay, so the way we're gonna do it is uh, we actually we learn how to do it pretty cool way. So console dot right line, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our cool string, and um, <clears throat> obviously there is multiple ways to display. You can just display the results, but we do also want to tell what the heck we put that in there, right? So what I do like to do is I do like to tell people what happened so they know uh, so we're gonna add uh, two numbers and then we're gonna say they equal to and then it's gonna be a third variable in here then we jump to the end do comma and then we put first number then we're gonna do second number and then we're gonna do sum sum okay jump to the end semicolon now before we do that, obviously this is zero, 1, and so we need to put placeholders in here for 0. Then we're going to go here and put 1. Then we're going to here and put 2. Remember it starts with 0, 1, 2. So this will be our 0, this will be our 1, this will be our 2. So that would be displaying all the spaces correct. That's cool. And then we're just going to copy this line. And we're going to display it four times V and we're gonna change this to minus then we're gonna display this to multiplication and then we display this to division and then let's not forget this because it's not our sum anymore it's gonna be our uh, subtract subtract then we're gonna go here and we're gonna do our multiply and then we're gonna come here and we're gonna do our divide okay now this should do that and uh, what I like also is uh, when you highlight this it displays all these places it highlights all the places that this has been used so you can see being um, initiated here then calculation and display so pretty cool now let's run this to make sure it's working and let's well let's me just minimize that we don't need anymore and let's click start let's see please hello welcome to the best calculator please enter first number okay let's do easy let's enter 12 12 and then we're gonna hit enter then please enter second number let's enter six Ooh, really fancy calculator and look at the our results so it's displaying us so 12 and 6 and obviously this is correct and this is all correct I mean I'll trust all the math but this is the way I did it and um, it looks pretty fancy to me if you ask me you know million dollars worth of program I should patent and sell it okay so I hope you enjoy this guys and we are gonna learn way more this is the basic simple 
uh, things we learned are basics. We covered everything. Now we're just gonna build them on top of this. Create cool programs. We'll get to the games. We'll get to fun things. Just stick with it and learn more. So um, I hope this helps, and I hope you guys are still not too bored and um, excited about learning cool new things. Okay, and I will see you next tutorial. We're gonna start a new chapter on decisions making, where our programs are actually going to start making decisions based on different things, okay, such as inputs and calculations and random numbers and stuff like that. So I will see you in next section and next tutorial. Thank you for watching.